Bush's speechwriter just roasted Trump over pardon tweet with the perfect John McCain joke. Sensibilities change slowly over time, but the changes since the inauguration of Donald Trump as president have happened so quickly that after a little more than 500 days, America finds itself in a topsy-turvy world where our former allies are now being treated like the enemy and our former adversaries are pulling the puppet strings dangling from the arms of a president so cluelessly unself-aware that he thinks that he's the one in control. With all expectations of truth, integrity, and intelligence as characteristics necessary for the person sitting in the Oval Office now seemingly abandoned, and Trump himself chanting denials like an unholy rosary as he makes grander, increasingly authoritarian claims of presidential power, Trump crossed a new line today with his unprecedented claim that the Constitution grants him the power to pardon himself for any crimes he may commit. When Atlantic senior editor David Frum, a former speechwriter for George W. Bush and a thought leader of the few Never Trump Republicans left, saw Trump's tweet, he immediately thought of Senator John McCain and the churlish comment that Donald Trump made about the senator while he was on the campaign trail. He's not a war hero, said Trump at a campaign stop in Iowa. He was a war hero because he was captured. I like people who weren't captured. Frum references the quote in his tweet about Trump's newly declared self-pardoning power, with a tongue-in-cheek comeback that the ailing senator would surely appreciate. That clever repost was only the latest in several tweets that the Atlantic editor posted in response to Trump's overreaching authoritarian power grab. Earlier in the day he sent out these other damning assessments of Trump's claims to be above the law, this last tweet leads to long thread explaining the history of the powers that British royalty did and did not have culminating in this conclusion, just a reminder, this is a conservative Republican saying these things. Unfortunately he's not a congressional Republican, who in the end are the only ones that count now that the need for impeachment has only become more clear.